Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Desert Sky Adventures. Today we are in Holbrook, Arizona, right here on Route 66 to take a look at some of these old popular roadside attractions, some that are still in operation today and some that have gone out of business a long time ago. So come along with us now as we explore the Holbrook side of Route 66 in northeastern Arizona. We're going to do that right now on Desert Sky Adventures. The historic Route 66, nearly 2,500 miles of highway that connected Chicago to Los Angeles. And back before air travel was a cost-effective and convenient way to get across the country, this road was the main way people traveled from the Midwest to the Pacific Ocean. Just take a look at it then. It's too and bad. take a look at it now. When you take a look around Holbrook, you'll see a town well past its glory days. When the I-40 bypassed Route 66, making a much faster route, many of the Route 66 locations and towns began to wither away. The classic old motels, some of which have closed long ago. Others appear to barely be hanging on. Some have been torn down completely and repurposed as other businesses. Many of them stand abandoned today. With the massive decline of road travelers on Route 66, there was just no need for all these roadside motels. But there is still one classic Holbrook Route 66 landmark that is still in operation today, and that is right here at the Wigwam Motel. Where they want to know, have you slept in a wigwam lately? The Wigwam Villages were a motel chain that operated in the United States between 1930s and 1940s. The rooms were built in the form of teepees, mistakenly referred to as wigwams. It originally had seven different locations, two locations in Kentucky, one each in Alabama, Florida, Arizona, Louisiana, and California. They are very distinctive historic landmarks. Two of the three surviving motels are located on the historic Route 66, one in Holbrook, and then city boundary between Rialto and San Bernardino, California. All three surviving motels are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Wigwam Village in Holbrook is village number six, and it was built in 1950 by Arizona motel owner Chester E. Lewis. Lewis operated the motel until its closing in 1974 when Interstate 40 bypassed downtown Holbrook. The motel was renovated and reopened in 1988, and it's still operational today. At one time, there was a Texaco gas station attached to the hotel. Here, you can see where the gas pumps used to be. This Route 66 icon is permeated into pop culture as it was the basis of the Cozy Cone Motel in the movie Cars. It also has a very distinct likeness in one of the newer Grand Theft Auto video games. Each of the wigwams has its own small green metal bench etched with the words Wigwam Village number 6. It's great to know that this piece of roadside Route 66 Americana is still here, and if you want to, you can come and stay in one of these classic wigwams. I really like the way they have these old cars out in front all around the property. Really gives it that old timey feel. And I'd be willing to bet that some of these cars actually traveled on the mother road themselves at one point or another. Check out this old van. My grandfather used to have a van just like this when I was a kid. Same colors and everything. Remember those door handles like it was yesterday. The engine in this beast sits between the two front seats. Taking a look around at all these classic automobiles really gives you a feel for what this place would have looked like in its heyday. And this motel has a fantastic lobby chock full of Route 66 memorabilia and all sorts of great things to look at. They have a vintage cash register here. They have a little museum full of all sorts of old relics. And 
plenty of rock and petrified wood. Speaking of petrified wood, we're going to be going to the petrified forest tomorrow, so stay tuned for the next video. In fact, now might be a good time to hit that like button and press the subscribe button so you don't miss it. Each of these pieces of petrified wood is millions and millions of years old. They also have these really cool hand-carved doors that I'm told came from a bank somewhere in Mexico. They are over a hundred years old. But anyway, let's check out the teepees. Or the wigwams. Now keep in mind, this place was built in 1950, and it was designed to accommodate simply a traveler on the road, someone who just needs to get off the road and get some sleep. So you don't have a whole lot of plugs. You do have a very small bathroom. But it is quaint. The shower is over here behind the door. The shower is actually bigger than I thought it would be, but the shower head is very low. I know some people really don't like that, but it doesn't bother me all that much. But this is eye level, looking down at the shower head. The stretch of Route 66 that once connected Holbrook to Joseph City no longer exists, so we had to hop on the I-40. Once we got to Joseph City, it looked to be more of the same. Originally built out of old telephone poles, former circus clown, taxidermist, and sometimes poet Frederick San Diego Rawson established San Diego's old frontier trading post in 1927. And by 1947, it belonged to Ray and Ella Blackwell. They called it the last frontier. In 1955, Ella and Ray got divorced, and Ella changed the name to simply Ella's Frontier Trading Post. She would often claim that Ella's Frontier was built in 1847 or 1873, predating the very telephone poles it was made of, and proudly proclaimed it was the oldest trading post on Route 66. She stuck to that story until her death in 1984. Since then, Ella's Frontier has been resting and rotting quietly beside another Route 66 casualty, the Red Arrow Campground. Film what? And here it is, the last stop of the day, the Jack Rabbit Trading Post, just west of Joseph City. This shop was the first of five Route 66 attractions to survive the creation of the interstate with its own named exit. First opened in the 1940s, Jack Rabbit Trading Post is still in operation, surviving the rise and fall of Route 66, as well as several different owners. But it was the original owner, James Taylor, no relation to the singer, who put up billboards all along the Mother Road from Arizona to Missouri, a tactic since copied by many tourist traps. The hand-painted signs depicted the store's iconic Jack Rabbit logo, culminating in a final Here It Is billboard beside the trading post. Few, if any, of these billboards remain, except the now legendary Here It Is sign, which is repainted every few years. Jackrabbit Trading Post is also parodied in Disney Pixar's Cars from 2006. The Here It Is logo is shown with a Model T Ford instead of the Jackrabbit logo. But today this little piece of Route 66 history is right off of the Jackrabbit exit of the I-40 can still come in and take a look at this store that's been in business for almost 80 years. Let's go inside and see what they've got. This is another great Route 66 gift shop. There's snacks, drinks, plenty of merchandise and Route 66 memorabilia if you're interested in that. Lots of great things to look at. More rocks and fossilized items you can take home if you'd like. And of course, plenty of Jack Rabbit trading posts and Route 66 coffee mugs. They've also got this great little side room, which is basically a little Route 66 museum. As you can see, it is full of Route 66 memorabilia and Jack Rabbit trading post memorabilia. This is one of those places where you can add your own things if you come by here and you have some sort of memorabilia you want to leave behind. You can put it here and they'll let it stay in their little museum. Hey, look at that. Random Land was here. If you know, you know. I could have stayed in here for quite some time and read all of this Route 66 history, but the store was closing pretty soon, and we got to get back to the teepee because we've got to go to the Petrified Forest tomorrow. Of course, we're going to bring you along. Wind and rain 
rain is starting to pick up here, so we're gonna book it into our teepees. It's a wigwam. Wigwam. Look at my hair. That's terrible. <laughs> We've made it back to the sanctity of the teepee, the wigwam. It's a teepee. guys well that's gonna wrap it up for our look at route 66 holbrook arizona and what's left of it anyway i hope you enjoyed coming along and taking this look at holbrook with us thank you so much for watching if you like this video do us a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button it doesn't cost you a thing and it really helps us out quite a bit we do appreciate it but until next time folks from holbrook arizona route 66 we'll see you down the road